Hey y'all, it's Julie with another agroforestry management video. Uh, the zone we're going to be working here started planting about five years ago. Um, really did not have any sense of agroforestry, syntropic agroforestry, anything like that in mind when it was planted. It's just a zone that was close to the house, top of a hillside, so there's a nice straight line of, you know, uh, a place we wanted to more or less beautify and uh, also get some little snacks and useful things in here. Uh, so let's flip around and see what we're working with. All right, so as you can see, it is fairly overgrown. The row is right here. I will walk along it so you can see. Um, we've got quite a few species in here. Uh, we've been including some Muscovy ducks. Uh, this row is about 50 or 60 feet long, so that would be about 15, 20 meters. Uh, got some mulberry jumping out here. Anyhow, so our main goal here, uh, like I said, it was planted without any uh, inclinations toward any kind of agroforestry. So we really don't have a lot of service plants, mulch plants. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of the tithonia there. Uh, you know, the sedible hibiscus can be used as kind of a mulch plant. Um, but basically, the bottom line is we are going to be using just some of the species that are planted in here, particularly this very large avocado that is kind of getting covered in yam vine. Uh, we're going to be using that as mulch. Uh, so doing a little bit of like an agroforestry management on a zone that wasn't necessarily set up to be an agroforest. We are also hopefully going to be mostly eliminating this yam vine here. As you can see, it has just kind of taken over. It's going up the papayas, it's all the way over to the avocado. Uh, it's getting pretty naughty. We're not super in love with them. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know where the original tuber is for this guy. Uh, we know it's somewhere down in this zone where the ducks are hanging out. Um, but it's basically buried in rocks. So I don't know if we're going to be getting that out anytime soon, all of it. So it just is probably going to continue to re-sprout year after year. Uh, we're going to get on top of managing it this time. Uh, it's going to produce a lot of mulch for us, which is great. But it's just going to be kind of a problem the way it tangles around everything. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start by managing the ground and getting it ready to place the mulch. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and jump up to the taller trees, such as the avocado, the allspice, some of those, those bigger trees behind me. Uh, and the reason for that, we're going to skip through kind of the, the medium-sized trees. Uh, because as we prune the larger trees, those branches may land on our smaller species. Um, and we want to have the opportunity to, if anything breaks, uh, go back and prune those as we would like to prune them. Uh, if we prune the smaller trees first and then they break, then we're left with a lot less to work with. Hello, we have got all our groundwork done now. It is actually a few days later. We were doing that work on Monday. It is now Saturday. Uh, I was kind of on the verge of realizing I had food poisoning. Uh, but anyway, I'm all better now. Uh, so let's take a look at the groundwork and see how it went. And then we can discuss our next steps. Hi, Zilla. All right. So you can see here, there were vines pretty much entangled all over all this stuff. Uh, we got all those down. Uh, they are now on the ground as mulch. Uh, we got everything kind of cleared up on the ground, ready to receive more mulch. Got our peppers pruned up a bit.
And so the next thing we're gonna be doing here is going around the corner. We're gonna get that big avocado we were talking about earlier. Uh, after we get that, we have a couple other trees we want to target, uh, depending on what kind of time we have today. Uh, I'll just flip this around real quick and show those off to you. All right, so up here we've got this monkey pod that is kind of encroaching on this banana. Uh, also this ko, that's a native tree, encroaching on our banana a little. We may take a, a branch off of here. Uh, and then also, if you can see there in the distance, there is a much larger monkey pod that is trying to take over quite a bit more. It is trying to shade out the world. Uh, so there's also a jackfruit under there. And what we're going to do is get those pruned way back uh, as soon as we have time. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. All right, let's do it. down at the dwarf coconut row which is just down the hillside from uh, where we just finished our management. I'm hoping I can get enough time between the ducks squawking and the dogs barking to uh, get a video together here for you. Um, so let's do a quick summary of kind of everything we did here. All right so you can see through this sugar cane, uh, we've got some trunks here of some avocados that we pruned. Uh, these were not the biggest one that we were trying to manage. Um, I guess also take a look at all that mulch on the hillside. So that all came from the avocados. It came from the yam vine. It came from uh, a lot of stuff up above. And not necessarily intentionally planted mulch trees, like I said, uh, but just kind of the things that were in here either planted intentionally or a lot of the avocados were just thrown out from the kitchen, uh, see if they grow, and they all grew. Uh, so here is our big avocado, went from about 20, 25 feet to now it is, I would say, about four to five feet. Uh, I guess that would be about a meter and a half. Uh, it's about the height we cut a lot of things at, kind of chest shoulder height. There's another, uh, that was a kukui, a native tree around here. Um, so lots of mulch on the hillside here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and walk around so we can take a look at our row.
All right, so I'm up at the row that we just managed. And I just want to talk really quick about some of the byproducts of our labor. Uh, it wasn't just mulching. Uh, we did get a couple, couple fruits and some other things out of it. All right, so here we have some aerial tubers. Uh, these are air potatoes. Uh, and these are some tubers from our yam vine. We're gonna give these a try. I'm not sure if uh, these are the right variety. I know a lot of people around the world love these. The last time we had them, they were kind of bitter, not, not especially great, but I've heard they can be pretty choice in some places. Uh, we got a handful of lilikoi that dropped while we were working. Also some peanut butter fruits uh, from some branches we pruned. And uh, we also, from these peppers, uh, we already made them into sauce, uh, but we did get quite a few peppers and we used them to cut a hot sauce that we made. Uh, another thing that I want to point out is this is our calabash tree. Um, you can see some of the fruits in here. We've got a nice big one here. So if you take a step back, uh, I did not do a really hard prune on this one. Uh, the reason for that is we want to go ahead and propagate it and we we have a little nursery side hustle so we kind of wanted to check this one out, see if it might uh, have any viability in the market if anybody's interested. Uh, so we went ahead, we took a few cuttings, got them started. Um, if anybody buys them, then we will go ahead and prune this, make more cuttings. If not, we'll just prune it, throw it on the ground. All right, so here we go with our mulch. This ground was pretty bare before, but as you can see, got quite a bit of mulch. A little rat hole there. Uh, lots and lots of mulch. Mulch, mulch, mulch. And if we take a look up here, avocado's gone. Lots of sunlight for our vongas here now. Mulberries are pruned way back. They like to fruit on new growth, so it's good to prune them hard once in a while. But as you can see, we got a lot of good stick mulch in here. And taking a step back, here's our monkey pod. Got it down to a nice little frame here. So it won't be encroaching on the path, taking sun from our bananas and everything else. We got our jackfruits pruned down quite a bit. Um, you know, kind of same strata as the monkey pod. They both want the high strata. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a competition to manage in there. Uh, but we're doing what we can. Uh, let's see if there's anything else to show you. Just lots more mulch here. Uh, the ground here was pretty bare and now it is fully, fully mulched. And we were even able to get some in our bed back here. And you know, kind of same same deal with the this bowl leaf plant. Um, left it looking a little crazy out in the path, but uh, we may try to give that a chance uh, in the nursery as you know propagation material. See if anybody's interested in purchasing that. Uh, maybe share some cuttings with friends. And uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.